draft process is a long, tedious process. I mean, right after your last game, you're going into training and developing for the combine and your pro day. So you, you want to be in the best shape of your life if you're not already in it. I mean, coming off a long season, you're going to be a little beat up, you're going to be a little hurt, tired, but it's just something you have to do if you want to get to this level. So they start off with working out, training for about two, two three months until the combine. And the combine is just, if, you, if you're fortunate enough to get invited, is where all the pro teams and scouts are, and coaches, everybody's in one building. So you start with IQ tests and mental, mental tests and psychological tests. And then the next day you have your weigh-ins. And then the next day you have a bench press. And then the next day is the field work where you do all the drills, the 40, shuttle, L drill, and all that. So I, the last day is showtime. So that, that's where you really make your money. And after the combine, you have maybe, depending on when your school is scheduled pro day, you have a couple weeks off. to, If you had any mistakes or you didn't do well at the combine or you didn't get invited, that's the next process in which scouts and coaches get to see what you do. So you get you're a little bit more comfortable environment because you're at your school and you're familiar with the surface and you're not going through all the different mental things that you did before. It's not you're not flying out to Indianapolis, so you don't have that jet lag. There's a lot of things that just make pro day a little bit more comfortable, and people seem to perform better at their pro day most of the time than they do at the combine. But that that it can help you. It really can. It can hurt you, but most of the time you're going to do better at your pro day. After the pro day, it's kind of you might get some visits set up with different teams. They'll fly you out, take a look at the facility. For me, I went to Baltimore, Kansas City, and Cleveland, and you get to talk to the, uh, the whole coaching staff, the GM, president, head coach. So it's pretty much another interview for you, where. It, it's more of an official interview where you kind of got to come suit and tie and talk to, to the CEO of the company. <laughs> so after that, you get a little downtime where you're just waiting. And that that's probably the worst time because you're just like waiting, waiting. You hear all these projections of where you might go, where who might take you, what position you're, where, where you're ranked at your position. So it's just a waiting game into the draft. And, that, and the draft came for me and this year it was the first round, the first day, second round, the next day, and then the rest of the rounds, third through seventh on the third day. And I was projected to go maybe late second and most likely third or fourth round. So when the first round, first day I was just watching because I didn't expect to go. And the first round went by and the second round came early. So I watched it from once so like I had a, I could go second. Okay, so I'm gonna watch and see if I, if I get picked. And 36 went, oh wait, 33 went, 34, 35, and 36, 37 I'm watching. And the Browns had the 38th pick. And I had a good visit with them and okay, I'm like, well, maybe they'll take me with this pick, who knows. So when 37 came on, the phone rang. And the way the draft is, is when someone get drafted, you know while they're getting drafted, that you've been drafted because they'll call you a couple picks before they're gonna take you. You don't know like 38 pops on TV and they call you and you get picked. They call you a couple plays. So when 36 went by 37, you see 38 Browns come across the screen and I got a phone call and it was from an area code I didn't recognize. So I kind of got excited. Like who else would be calling at this time? And it was Browns, it was called, uh, Mr. Hecker, our G general manager, so I talked to him. He let me know that they were going to be taking me with the next pick. And I talked to Coach Holmgren and Coach Mangini after that. And the next thing I know, my name was, oh no, Jim Brown presented me. So that was another big thing to have the greatest running back in the NFL history present me as the 38th pick in the NFL draft to the Cleveland Browns was just an amazing thing. So after he said that, my name came across and then, you know, the picture with my height, weight, and highlights and just something I dreamed of my whole life. So it was pretty amazing. My family was going crazy in the background. I could barely hear Coach Holmgren and Coach Mangini talk. And yeah, it was, it was a great thing. I, I can remember it like it was yesterday. Just a dream come true.